short series of videos about their product that they're thinking about publishing on their website. Today, we will be showing you some of these videos and then asking you a few questions about each of them. Feel free to be open and honest. The folks who made the videos are not here today and they just want to get accurate data about their videos. When we get to the interview stage, please feel free to share any and all opinions. I'm going to play the videos for you via a screen share, and during the videos, we will be recording your faces via your webcams. To reiterate, please make sure your camera is on, your face is well lit, and you do not obstruct your face during the recording. You do not need to do anything special while watching the videos. Simply view them as if you were naturally encountering them at home while surfing the web. There are a total of three videos, about five minutes long in total, and they'll play in order one after the other. Afterwards, I will send two questions to everyone in the chat and have you send answers to me in a private message. We will also ask one volunteer to stay behind for a longer interview. Does anyone have any questions or concerns? Okay. Um, there'll be about a 10 second brief silence before the video gets started just to make sure everyone's settled. Um, once it does start playing, if you can't hear it, just feel free to raise your hand. All right, so I'm going to mute myself and then get this video started. iMotions is software for better and faster human behavior research. Every day, thousands of researchers in the academic and commercial worlds try to better understand how human emotions drive how we act, think, and feel. Research that's being used to help diagnose global diseases, improve training and learning, build better products, and help companies connect better with users and consumers. Biosensors like eye tracking, facial expression analysis, EEG, galvanic skin response, and heart rate help measure actual human emotions. However, no sensors or stimuli are connected, and several software tools are needed to get it all to work. It's difficult, time-consuming, and leaves room for manual errors. Researchers spend most of their time getting good data sets rather than working on what really matters, analyzing results and making groundbreaking innovations. That is why we built iMotions, the first true biometric research platform. iMotions allows researchers to connect all these different biometric devices and synchronize and live visualize all data streams automatically in one easy to use software platform. With iMotions, you don't need to piece things together. Out of the box, iMotions supports more than 50 leading biosensors and eye trackers. iMotions is the one-stop shop, whether it's a single study or a multidisciplinary lab with many data collection points and mass production of behavioral data. iMotions is being used by world-leading academic and commercial research institutions, all using iMotions to take their human behavior research to the next level. With iMotions, research Researchers execute research faster, increase validity and reliability, and spend more time concluding rather than plumbing. Learn today how iMotions can elevate your research. Why do we act the way we do? How is our behavior influenced? And why is behavioral change so difficult? Understanding the answers to these questions can help improve healthcare, enhance education, and create better consumer experiences. By collecting real-time, naturalistic data, it's possible to generate a deep and valid understanding of those actions, thoughts, and feelings that shape our behavior. This can be done with the help of tools like eye tracking, EEG, facial expression analysis, electrodermal activity, and ECG. They each give access to hidden behavioral signals. Setting up research with these data collection devices can, however, be difficult. Each typically requires a different software to run through. Synchronizing and managing multiple data streams from different devices is a challenge that slows down research and leaves room for errors. That's why we built iMotions, the complete software solution for carrying out human behavior research. We make it easy to connect and collect from multiple biosensors, to synchronize data from multiple sources, to present stimuli in any environment, and to scale your behavioral research when you need to. 
With iMotions, researchers spend less time programming and setting up experiments and more time getting answers. We provide training to help you get started and support to sustain your growth. Contact us today to get started. Emotions 8 release introduces a range of new and improved integrations from current partners, including Tobii, Emotive, and SmartEye. The Tobii Nano, an accessible laptop only eye tracker, is now integrated within iMotions. Ideal for studies in the wild, this eye tracker provides a high level of accuracy at 60 Hz with an accessible price point. The Emotive Cortex SDK has also now been integrated into iMotions 8. This SDK gives access to the raw EEG data, accelerometer data, and the collection of emotive metrics such as stress, relaxation, engagement, focus, and more. These metrics can help provide a rapid understanding of ongoing cognitive processes in response to stimuli. Additionally, further improvements have been made to our SmartEye integration, upgrading the capabilities of both the SmartEye Pro and Aurora eye trackers. As always, all of these integrations are easily synchronized with a range of other biosensors, allowing you to get a more detailed and complete picture of human behavior. Okay, that concludes our viewing portion. And now I'll be sending um, some questions in the chat. And you can just answer those in a private message back to me. Okay. Okay, so I've sent the questions in the chat. And to send it privately back to me, you just have to drop down the little tab that says everyone and change it to Allison or Allie, whichever my name is. And just make sure you're sending six scores to me. So a score for each of the three videos for both of the questions. Once everyone is done, we'll just um, ask one volunteer to stay behind and everybody else um, can end and leave the meeting. So if you'd like to stay behind, um, just raise your hand. It'll be about five minutes more. Okay, Chloe, we'll have you stay behind. Um, and everybody else, whenever you're done, thank you so much for participating um, and you can just leave the meeting. Cool, hi, Chloe. Um, so hey. we'll just conduct a quick interview with you. Um, so it looks like you have your video and your microphone, perfect. Um, cool. So first question, uh, which video did you like the most and why? I like the second video because um, he had an English accent, which was soothing on the voice or on the ears. Uh, and then it showed um, more about the platform than video three. And it actually showed 
the actual software rather than um, video one. Um, and it was a little bit more detailed. Cool. Um, and then which video was most clear and why? Um, I think that the clearest video was probably video three, mostly because it was more specific and not as general as videos one or two. Got it. And then for the third question, if you came across each of these videos separately, would you have watched them all in their entirety or would you have exited some of them before they ended? I would have exited some of them like uh, video one and three. Do you think you would have watched all of video two? Yes, because it kind of reminded me of the Virgin Atlantic videos. Uh, it has the same similar style and voice. Awesome. And then for the last question, um, what could have made the videos more effective or the videos that you um, didn't like as much more effective? Um, I think that it's only really, a f uh, these videos would be more effective if they're targeting an audience who knows more about research and biosensors. Um, otherwise, I don't think it would be very clear to them um, what this was about. I think we they could make the videos a little bit more clear in the sense that um, it could be more in like layperson terms. Uh, but I mean, it. I think it's just the material is a little bit more difficult to understand. But that definitely makes sense. All right, so that is all of our questions. Um, do you have anything else that you'd like to add? Okay, cool. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you.